by the Tigers, picked up back by Yulik, left across. And now the set going to go to the far side. The Indians, big swing back row, popped up to the front, overpass, and back across. And in the net was Tyler Chrisman, the overpass from the back row on the kill from Kinsey Chrisman was just too far across and right into the zone of the Indians. 6-3, Tigers still doubling up the Yuma Indians. So it comes deep, popped up. Set back to the middle and a back row attack by Alexis Bullers is picked up by the Yuma Indians. Goes to the far side. That's going to be deep and out on the swing on the far side from Molly Harris. And Molly just had a little too much on it. Thanks for joining us online as we finally got the streaming up and running. Had a little technical difficulty. Sorry about that. As a lift by the Yuma Indians puts the Tigers on top 8-3 to three with Tyler Christman at the service line. Tigers wanting to make quick work tonight. Tyler with a beautiful serve down the near side. Popped up, tipped across, tipped up by Bowler. Set. Megan Smock, far side, comes back cross court. Nice job. And the kill on a nice play by Shailen Burkholder. Served by Christman, jump serve down to the back row. Going to be dug in the back row by the Indians, but basically a free ball across. Bowler going to get to the front. Megan with a set to the near side. Alex Masters with a nice swing, packed up by the big, big back line, and then hit deep and out. Nice job on the dig in the back line on the defensive side by Yuma, but then the hit way too deep, and the Tigers up 10-3. Got to think the Indians going to be calling a timeout here soon. Nice jump serve by Tyler Christman. It's picked up by the Yuma Indians and tipped across. Set by Kinsey. Near side, Alex Masters. Attempt on the kill. Dug back row by the Indians. And a nice block on the inside by Kinsey. Christman, no, they're going to say it didn't even cross the tape. And an 11-3 lead by the Tigers. I thought a timeout might maybe be called. Megan got up. Megan Martinez, the coach for Yuma, played at NJC. She got up but did not call the timeout. Another big serve by Chrisman. And another hit, an unforced error by the Yuma Indians. The hit into the net. And now we're going to have a timeout. 12-3 as the Sterling Tigers on top. We'll be back right after this on your home for Sterling Tiger Volleyball. Anytime, Mike. Hard to find you. Set. All right, five seconds, Mike. Set. And welcome back to Wally Post. We had a few technical difficulties we had to get worked out there, and so we are online and we are on the air here and having a great uh, a great match so far. The Tigers up 12-4 as Yuma to serve after a nice tip kill on the far side. Tigers in serve receive. Picked up by Tyler. Nice pass to the front row. Set far side. Masters with a nice swing. Picked up by Indians. Goes to the far side. And a nice block. And that's going to be down and off the block by Kinsey Christman. She was up there and had a nice block, and it came off the antenna. And uh, the Yuma Indians catch it back up to 12-5. Set, near side, tipped down, and dug, and free ball the cross, but out as the Tigers hustling, trying to get it. And the free ball attempt, too deep and out. And Yuma back in this 12-6. 
goes deep. Nice pop up by Bowers to the front line. Masters tools run off the block and down. Alex with their second kill of the night. And a 13-6 lead as Bowers was rotating to the front row. She'll come out. Shayla Klein checks back in for her. Tip to the front. And a far side block straight down by Kenzie Christman. Nice job by Kenzie on the block. Tigers up 14 to 6. Now look at the scoreboard brought to you by Signal Graphics and the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling. Your one-stop shop for all your printing needs, business cards, posters, flyers, any other signage for business events. Get Kelvin to call at 521-9000. Tipper Grass popped up by Master Set comes near side. Kenzie to the back line and deep and out. Not a bad set. Kinsey didn't get her body twisted around and straightened to the net. And hits it too deep and out. Did not get the overspin, the top spin, and get it down. Back row popped up by Tyler. Comes to the near side. Shayla Klein off the block and out. She gets her first kill of the night. Nice job by Shayla. And the Tigers maintaining a comfortable lead 15-7 here in set number one. If you're just joining us, it's the open uh, opening game, the home opener for the Sterling Lady Tigers in the 2012 campaign. Moving down uh, in a classification, big kill right there by Tara Tropigan, the freshman. And she put it in the far corner. Nice job, tested to 15-8 and she'll have the serve. Back row popped up by Tyler, and not a good pass as Tyler didn't quite get to it. Yuma's cut it to six at 15-9 here in set number one. Pass again, Tyler Christman unable to make the pass. Two in a row. She's got the back row center, but she's got to be able to pass from back there. And then a rotation violation. Not sure exactly what happened, but the down ref is telling them exactly what happened. And four straight for Yuma for the freshman. Not a decent pass. That going to come back to the middle. Swing down the far side by Megan Smock. Now she goes to the far side. She's going to get the set and do it down the line, popped up by Yuma, set. Going to go all the way to the back row, Tyler Christman, back to the front, set, middle. Gets one off the set, and Kinsey puts it down. Nice job by Kinsey to break that 4-0 run by the Indians. And the Tigers back up 16-11. Here in the varsity level, we'll go at least three sets. That's out of five. Three out of five. Go far side. The pressure with another big swing popped up back row across and a free ball for the Tigers. First one that they've had across that worked. Set near side this time. Off the block and down. That was a nice swing by number 12, Marina Hansen. Hansen with the serve down the middle. Nice to the front, set by Kenzie, far side, Shayla Klein, nice hit, dug up by the Indians, comes back across on the tip, nice job by Tyler to pick it up, and a nice set across by Alice Bowers, and she's going to get the kill as it goes to the back row, and they're unable to play it, are the Indians. Tigers will take that any day, and Shayla goes back to serve, she'll be substituted for by Bowler is going to come in and serve in the back row. Lexi going to put it down the near side. Set to the middle. Nobody home as they tried to run a cross and the middle got tangled up going across the middle to get to the position she was supposed to be at. Tigers will take the point as Bowler's hard serve hits the net and drops on the Tiger side. A Service there, first one for the Tigers tonight. Tigers still up by five, 18-13. Serve received, nice pass to the front. Come near side, Megan Smock, back row attack, going to be picked up by the Indians. Goes far side, tip across, 
Nice job by Kenzie to get it back up to the front. Bowers, or uh, Alexis, I'm sorry, that was uh, Alex Masters with the kill. Her third. Nice job by Alex. That'll give the serve over to Megan Smock. Smock, nice serve down the middle. Serve and set, go to the far side. Nice block by the Tigers, dug back up by Yuma. Set to the back line, and a nice set as the Tigers had all pushed towards the net. Left the back corner open. Tigers still lead by five, 19-14 here in the first. Master is going to set to the far side. Nice block, tipped up by Chrisman. Plays the ball, Jamie Sheldon down the middle. Picked up by Yuma, set, goes to the middle. Big swing, off the block, popped up by Bowers. Free ball across by Tyler Chrisman. Yuma going to tip it back to the front, middle. Big swing, left side, popped up by... Chrisman far side and got it down, did Alex Masters, her fourth kill of the night. That'll put Tyler Chrisman back in the service line, Tigers up by six, need five to close this out. Almost an ace it was, nice job as Tyler Chrisman got the ace as it went off the back of libero and out. <laughs> Crispin, a little short serve this time, picked up by you. We're going to go to the far side, big swing, back line, and missed it both deep and wide. Tigers three points away from putting away the first set here. Tyler looking to see where the serve is going to go. I'm used to seeing Coach Judy Bursley down there calling that. Oh, she gets one to crawl the tape, and the Yuma Indians get it back to Christ. Nice job by Yuma. Big swing. And Yuma could not play it. Oh, they're going to call in the net by the Tigers. They're going to say that Kinsey Christman was in the net. Kinsey didn't agree with the call. Yuma clinging on the life here in set number one, down 22 to 15. Serve deep, popped up by Tyler. Going to set to the near side. Kinsey, big swing, serve. Tyler had the nice pass, a nice set from Megan Spock, came near side, and Kinsey put it down. That'll put Alex Masters back at the service line. Tigers only need two to close out the set. Masters down the middle, going to pop up to the front. Middle, down, Masters pops it back up for the Tigers. Nice bump. Megan Smock tries the swing from the back row and puts it under the net. So now two set points for the Tigers. Away as Yuma has two set points here. Short serve, nice job by Tyler to pop it up. She's going to get it back in the middle. That was Kinsey, I'm sorry. Kinsey's hard swing dug by the Indians. Set comes back to the near side, and Shayla Klein attempts the kill. Popped up by the Indians, and nice set to the back row. And Tyler just couldn't get there. Almost got there, just couldn't get there. 23-17, and they've staved off two set points so far. Tyler, nice pass, comes back to the middle. Kinsey, did it come off the block? No, it did not. As it goes out, Coach Shoemaker doing a little coaching out there, giving Kinsey a few pointers. Tyler with a nice pass this time, back set. Big swing on the far side by Jamie Sheldon, dug up by the Indians, back across. Oh, what a nice job by Alex Masters on the dig. I am the set back to the near side, popped up again. The Tigers had three recoveries on that point, on that rally, and could not get the fourth as the Indians close it. That is their fourth set point. Stay on there at 20, uh, down 23-19. They have prolonged this match. Short serve into the net, and now Tigers are at set point.
Look at the scoreboard brought to you by Pete's Farmers Co-op. Is your co-op one stop for fuel, propane, contract, 24-hour fuel, whenever you travel through Pete's Cooperative in Pete's. The pop-up back row. Tyler going to back row hit deep and out. The Tigers were up by eight. Now find themselves only up by four, 24 to 20. They are at set point. Yuma Indians trying to find something to dig deep and come back in this first set. Kenzie, little floater across, popped up to the middle. Go far side, tipped across, popped up by Masters. Set, near side. Big swing, Shayla Klein into the net, and the Tigers haven't been able to close this out yet. 24-21, a substitution coming into the game for the Yuma Indians. Number 15, that's Caitlin Murphy. Serve down the middle, nice pass to the front, comes near side, tip across, Megan Smock popped up, gonna go far side, big swing down the middle, nice job to get it up in the back line by Sheldon, and a big swing, are they gonna close it out, or they are, as Kinsey Christman gonna close it out with the kill, the Tigers win 25-21 here in set number one, we'll be back for the second set, right after these messages, you're listening to Tiger Sports on 1230 KSTC. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. back to Wally Post Gymnasium. The Sterling Tigers taking set number one off the Yuma Indians. 25-21. They could have closed it out a lot earlier and just didn't put it away. So the Tigers will be serve receive here to start set number two. Tigers trying to fine tune some things here in this first non-leg match. Serve receive comes deep. Popped up by Sheldon. Are they going to be able to get it across? Nice job by the Tigers. Nice job by Megan Smock. And into the net were the Yuma Indians. They could not play it. Megan Smock really came up with a great shot right there to close that out. Tigers taking only 108. Yuma Indians going to be playing in the lower plat league, the 2A, 1A combined league this year. Pass comes across. Popped up by Kenzie. To the middle, Tyler puts it down and pulls one off the block. 2-0, Tigers take an early lead. Sheldon's 
Good eye setting up on the new bleachers here at the Sterling facility. As uh, many years those old wooden bleachers were here. And a nice job to get these new aluminum and plastic as the Tigers off the Tyler Christmas kill go up 3-0. Great investment by the school district and the taxpayers and people that live here in Sterling in this district. A great expense for the facility here. Not just used for sports, there's other things here that it's used for graduation and different things, but just a nice uh, addition with the new bleachers. Tigers take a 4-0 lead. Shayla Klein at the service line goes deep. Popped up by the Yuma Indians. Far side, big swing. Nice job by Kenzie to dig. Back to Tyler, popped across softly a floater. Picked up in the back row by Yuma. Sheldon back to the front, set far side. Left-handed attempt by Alex Masters as the set was too wide. And she hits it into the antenna. So the first point by the Yuma Indians here in set number two. And Shayla Klein will come out. And coming in for the Tigers for the first time in set number two, Lexi Bowlers on the back row. The libero. They serve her right away in a nice pass to the front. Set to the middle. Tyler Christman with a big shot. Boom. Set from Kinsey. So Christman to Christman. And the result, a point, 5-1. Big swing by Tyler. Put that down with some authority. That'll send Megan Smart back to the service row for the Tigers. Jump serve down the middle. Popped up to the front line and across. The overpass right into Tyler Christman. She's blocked. Then the pass going to be deep and out, but in the net was Tyler Christman on the block. Lead cut to 5-2. Back to serve for Yuma is Carly Corey. I'm sorry if I'm not getting all the Yuma girls. It's kind of a difficult. The lineup they sent me is in about four, number four type. Can hardly read it. And it's put in by class, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So trying to find numbers on here is almost impossible. Alex Masters stuffed at the net by number 13. That is Tara Trappigan. Nice job by the freshman. Down the middle, popped up to the front, back to the middle. Alex Masters gets one across. Yuma going to answer. Nice little floater. Nice dig by Megan Smock. She's played a whale of a game tonight. Back row going to go off of Kinsey. She should have let it go, but she played it. Goes off of her and out. And it's now a one-point contest. What was a four-point lead, now just a one-point lead. Tip near side by Tyler. Gets it back. Tips it down this time. And they're going to call a lift on her. Not sure exactly what they called on that. I'm not sure what she did. Um, I think... They called the lift, but I don't know what uh, exactly she did. Might have just got too much of it over the net. Tyler going to get it across, block back. Nice dig by Bowler. She's going to try and play it, but goes under the net. And for the first time tonight, the Sterling Tigers find themselves behind. 6-5. to five. Did not trail in set number one. And down 6-5 here in set number two. Smock set, far side, big swing. Popped up and back across by the Indians. Bowler's going to get it to set to the far side. Masters blocked, dug by Bowler. Nice set, middle tip by Tyler Chrisman across. Yuma going to answer and off the block. Nice job on the inside by the freshman, Tara Trappigan, playing a great game for Yuma. Pass up, back to the near side, and out as the attempt coming from Reagan Wheeler. Reagan not going to play a lot. Reagan twisted her ankle earlier this year in July and has had some trouble getting that rehab. So I heard Coach Shoemaker told me she wasn't going to play a lot tonight. Wanted to get her out there and get her some time, but just not going to play an awful lot. Big swing back across and a nice dig in the back row. The Yuma Indians playing inspired right now as they've taken a four-point lead 
on the Tigers and a timeout by Coach Shoemaker as the uh, Tigers are trailing 9-5. And I don't know uh, exactly why the Tigers are uh, um, playing a little lackluster here, but they are. As the Sterling Tigers' uh, first set led the entire way. And we're up by four here, five to one. So an eight point, an eight point run by the Yuma Indians puts them on top nine to five. Coach Shoemaker says, let's just call a timeout and talk about this. First game of the season, obviously. As we got uh, boisterous kids jumping around the equipment here. Not sure exactly what they're thinking. We had to have the uh, equipment police come up and escort them away. <laughs> back to action. Served by Yuma. Back to the middle. Alex Masters going to get a kill off the middle. Nice job, Alex. And that stems the tide for now. Pulls the Tigers back to within three, six, nine. And Tyler Chrisman back to serve. For Sterling. Tyler with a jump serve down the middle. Floats back row. Pop back to the front. Overpass. Going to be tipped across by Kinsey. Back to the far side. Masters with a big swing again. Give her another kill. Alex Masters up to about six now here. As we get into the second set here. Cuts the lead to two. Nine, seven. Yuma on top. Tyler going to serve again. As I started to say earlier, I'm used to to uh, Judy Beersley calling the uh, signals for where those serves are going to go, and she retired and is not coaching anymore. She's sitting down here watching the game and sitting right below us here and enjoying as a spectator as Coach Kendra Short now calling signals on the bench as to where those serves are going. Yuma with a nice rally in play, lead again by 3-10-7. Set, far side, big swing by Kinsey, blocked in the middle, comes to the near side, and tapped across by Reagan Wheeler. Comes near side, back row and down. I'll tell you what, that freshman, Tara Trappigan, has been playing a whale of a game for the Yuma Indians. She does not play like a freshman. I get the head shake from Cole sitting next to me. Pass comes near side, tipped across again by Megan Smock. Nice job, and unable to play it down the line where the Yuma Indians. Megan Smock has been all over the court tonight. Alexis Bowlers was rotating to the front row, so she'll come out. Shayla Klein back in on the front row, and the serve back line, Alex Masters. Comes across near side, then back to the far side, cross court, dug up by Masters. Smock back to the middle from the back row. Tyler Chrisman swings one across. Nice dig by Yuma, then a big block by Kinsey Chrisman at the net. The stuff block by Kinsey brings the Tigers back to within two at 11-9. Tigers lead one set to nothing here in the match. Floater down the middle, dug and pass to the front, now near side. Traffic and down the line becomes outside the antenna. Tried to put some English on it, but... Kind of hard to hit a curveball around that corner. Oh, and an ace. Alex Masters with the ace, and the Tigers have tied it at 11. <laughs> yeah? You just split 11? I think so, too, and get a big one on it. <laughs> split the aces, and we could have had it. But uh, Yuma said, no, I don't think so. As they take the point and break us up 12-11, Yuma takes the lead back. That'll send to the service line the senior, Kalen Block. Block rifles one down the middle, popped up by Bowlers. Goes far side, Kinsey down the middle, and off of Block and out. And we're tied at 12. What's the rule book say about 12s? I say hit it. Jamie Sheldon back to serve for the Tigers down the middle. 
Nice tip to the middle and off the block. Another big swing by Yuma again by an underclassman as they have a young squad. Marina Hansen with the kill. Nice pass by Tyler. Set near side. Kinsey on the slide. Too deep and out. Did not get the top swing on it. Did not get the follow through to get that to drop on the back line. Floats too deep and out. Off the net. Nice job by Tyler to get it back up. And outside of the antenna on the far side was Shayla Klein as the pass went too far on the set. And the Tigers find themselves down by three again, 15-12. Tied it at 11, tied it at 12. Now they find themselves down 15-12 as the serve goes into the net. A service error by the Indians, and the Tigers have cut it to two, and that'll put Kinsey Christman back to serve for the Tigers. Flat-footed serve down the middle, popped up near side, and off the block and down Tyler Christman. Nice job with the block in the middle. Cut the lead to one and a chance to tie right here. Kinsey down the middle. Nice dig in the back row. Pass comes near side. Big swing goes far court. Popped up by Masters. Set far side. Shayla Klein big swing. Off the block. Nice pass. Going to come near side. Off the kill and down. Nice job by Madison Powell the sophomore. A bunch of underclassmen for the Yuma Indians. As Yuma takes the 16-14 lead. Serve down the middle. Masters pass near side. Kinsey back set. Shayla Klein with a kill attempt. Popped up by the Indians. Going to be a back across by Powell and she miss hits. A misfire by Powell. And the Tigers back to within one. Jamie Sheldon will check back in. In the back row. And back to serve is Shayla Klein for the Tigers. Shayla floated the back, back row, picked up by Block. Goes far side. Nice job by Powell at the front line, but blocked by Tyler Chrisman. Free ball across to the Tigers. Popped up by Megan Smock. Back to the middle. Tyler Chrisman puts it down right in the middle of the court. We're tied at 16. Tyler's fifth kill of the night. Shayla down the middle. Pass comes near side. Swing down the middle, popped up by Klein, then back to the middle by, nice job by Smock again to help the Tigers out. And this time a tip kill by Smock as she got it at the line and put it down. Megan Smock is playing one heck of a game tonight for the Sterling Tigers. 17-16, Tigers take the lead for first time in a long time. Tip across, Megan Smock there again, but this one going to fall out. As she was there to make the play, just didn't quite get it executed. Tied back at 17. Coming in to serve for the Yuma Indians is going to be the senior, Tristan Bakke. And Tristan Bauke going to hit it down the middle. Nice job by the Tigers to play it far side. Masters, big swing, got the kill. And Masters is... Uh, Proven to be an asset on the outside tonight for the Tigers, and they take the 18-17 lead. Trying to take a two-set lead. Megan Smock serve far corner. Nice dig by the Indians. Pop back to the middle. Smock to the front. Set. Middle. Tyler Chrisman. Big shot. Nice dig by the Indians. Chrisman going to tip that down as it went right back. The overpass right to Tyler. Tyler having some fun now. And a timeout going to be called by the Yuma Indians. I want to thank you for joining us online at Chassa.tv Colorado Preps. We uh, appreciate their support this year. As the look at the scoreboard brought to you by Signal Graphics and the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling, your one-stop shop for all your printing needs, business cards, posters, flyers, and other signage for your business or events. Call Kelvin at 970-521-9000. 1917 Tigers on top. The Pete uh, Farmers Co-op is your one-stop shop for fuel and propane uh, contracts for 24-hour fuel whenever you travel through. See Pete's Farmers Co-op in Pete's. 
Tigers one set number one, 25-21. and have trailed for a big portion of set number two, but have got the train back on the track and now take a two-point lead, 19-17, with Megan Smock serving. Comes down the middle, almost an ace, give her the ace. Megan Smock serving back row, and a little miscommunication by the Indians, and Megan gets the ace. 2017 Tigers on top. Smock jump serve down the middle, popped up. Big swing, did it mid find the line? Yes, it did, and the freshman once again for the Yuma Indians. Trap again doing a nice job. Set goes to the near side. Big swing by Tyler Chrisman. Nice dig in the back row. Are they going to be able to play it across? Yes, they are. Nice job by the Yuma Indians. Far side, Alex Masters blocked. Nice job by the Tigers to pop it up. Comes near side. Back to the near side. A set coming to the near side. Big swing by Yuma. Nice job by Alex Masters. Set. Megan Smock back to Masters. Tip this time. Popped over. Nice job. Again, Megan Smock there. Tyler Chrisman with a tip across. Yuma going to pop it up. Smock to the front line. Sheldon set. Far side. Masters big swing into the net. Nice rally there by both squads. Tigers unable to capitalize. And Yuma has cut it back to a one-point lead, 20 to 19. Serve comes into the net. Service there by Yuma as Carly Corey puts it into the net. And that'll send the Tiger senior Tyler Chrisman back to the service line. Jump serve down to the back line. Popped up. Coming across. Tipped down in a lift. As that was pushed across. Trappigan tried. But she had the lift. 22-19. Tigers now three points away from closing out set number two. A big contingent of Yuma Indian fans came across for the trek here. As an ace by Tyler Chrisman in the back row. as Kiara Meckelberg could not handle it. And the Tigers now two points away from taking set number two. Chrisman with a big right arm down the middle, crawls the net. Meckelberg that time able to get it across, and a free ball going to go across. Nice job by the Tigers, but the overpass right into Trappigan's radar, and she puts it down. The freshman did a nice job there. Checking in for Yuma to come in and serve is number three, Logan Hickson, the freshman. 23-20, Tigers on top. Set, far side. Kinsey with a big swing, dug up back row, off the block, now near side, down the line, popped up by Megan. Going to go near side, Bowlers with a big swing. Again, the defense by the Yuma Indians up to the task. Tyler with a nice pass, Smock, set, far side. Alex Masters, too deep and out. Tried to get over the block, and she did. But put it about 15 feet outside the end line. 23-21, Tigers on top by two. Crispin, nice pass. Go far side. Nice, Bowler's got it off the... It hit something. What did it hit? No, they're saying it didn't hit anything. Masters too deep again, and Yuma's cut it to one. 23-22. Miss hit. Picked up by the Tigers and free ball to cross and give Sheldon the kill as she just popped it across off the block and down. And the Tigers are at set point once again, 24-22. That look at the scoreboard brought to you by your local associates at Aflac representatives, Bob Molitor and Daryl McCormick. Get to know quack about Aflac, 522-2309. <laughs> the white duck going across the court as the Tigers try to put this away. Pass comes near side. To the deep and in, a big swing to keep their second set alive was Caitlin Murphy, the junior. That'll put Block back to serve for the Yuma Indians. Back row popped to the front by Sheldon. Set comes across right into the hitting zone of the Yuma Indians. And now another set right to Yuma. 
as twice Sheldon set it up for Yuma the second time they were able to put it down as Madison Powell gets the kill 24-24 we're going to play extras here in set number two back line <laughs> comes to the near side Sheldon going to hit it across got a win by two now and Yuma takes two set point as they get the kill 25-24 the Indians on top as checking in for the Tigers is going to be Regan Wheeler block serving for the set down the line pop to the front into the net three ball across nice job by the Tigers to play it off the net set comes near side across back row popped up set far side Klein going to get the ball down and tipped up and a carry and we're back at tied at 25 gets Shayla Klein the kill 25-25 in set number two Megan Smock going to check back into the game as Regan Wheeler going to go back to the back line to serve got to win by two here in extras set to the front by Meckleberg big swing big block by Kenzie Christman and puts the Tigers at set point 26 25 and a timeout called by Yuma Tigers have fought hard here in this second set came out and led 5 to 1 and then through most of the second set found themselves on the uh, wrong side of the scoreboard and fought back to take a late lead it's only to see Yuma answer back and take this to extras. So Yuma had a match point at 25-24. Two points by the Tigers give them a, a, not a match point, a set point at 26-25 and to take a commanding two-set lead here in this match. Regan Wheeler to serve. 26-25, Tigers on top for the set. Ready for play, here we go, down the middle. Popped up by Powell, going to be out, and the Tigers going to take set number two, 27-25. The Tigers take set two. We'll be back for set number three right after this on 1230 KSTC and Chassa TV and uh, Colorado Preps. There's no free lunch, no free with more than 30 years in business pro sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season a complete supplier of team athletic apparel teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price outfit your team with pro sports located in downtown sterling but a proud supplier to teams from all across colorado pro sports offering team discounts call now 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today pro sports your team source you're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, there is no purchase as is. Every vehicle on the lot comes with a complete warranty. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday 9 to 4. Kellogg Ewing Levitt Insurance Group is your first and only stop for all of your insurance needs, including health, home, auto, farm and ranch. Kellogg Ewing Levitt can also provide you with professional and general liability bonds. Kellogg Ewing Levitt, going the extra mile for their clients, and they can do the same thing for you. Call Kellogg Ewing Levitt today to receive a no obligation quote on your insurance needs. 522-4840. That's 522-4840. Kellogg Ewing Levitt with offices located at 119 North 3rd Street here in Sterling.
Sterling Tigers take set number 125-21, set number 227-25 in extras. That'll send us to set number three. Tigers trying to get the sweep and get the brooms out, get the sweep and get things started off right here in the home opener and get a three-set sweep and go home and do homework and get ready for Friday. <laughs> Tyler Chrisman going to serve, I mean, Kinsey Chrisman is served to start things off. Tyler Chrisman going to get the point as she gets the stuff block at the net. And the Tigers up one to nothing. Tigers have taken the early lead in every set, but in set number two, they were up 5-1 and found themselves down 9-5 very quickly. Want to eliminate that here in set number three, and, in, and they are, as Tyler Chrisman with two stuff blocks to start off set number three. If she has anything to say about it, we're going to go home early tonight. Kinsey serving, Tyler stuff blocking. We'll just keep going here in set number three. Near side, Meckelberg puts it into the net, and the Tigers take a quick 3-0 lead here in set number three. Got to think it's going to be really hard to come back for Yuma here in Sterling, down two sets to none. Big swing back line popped up by Yuma to the front. Set near side, big swing down the line, off the block, and got the back line. Nice job by the junior, Marina Hansen. I swear to God, this is the hardest thing to read in the world. She gives herself the serve back line. Nice pop-up by Masters. Comes near side. Tyler Chrisman goes far court. And the facial as that point brought to you by Mary Kay. <laughs> as Tyler Chrisman gets her first facial of the year. Tigers up 4-1. to one. Big serve, Shayla Klein, back line, popped up far side. Nice stuff block, three stuff blocks out of the first five points for Tyler Christman. Of course, she is, you know, six foot tall and has a pretty good extension on those arms, a wingspan. Oh, yeah, exactly. She's big. Overpass comes to the far side, now set near side. Tyler going to pop it across easy this time. Just sets one across, floats one across. So out of the first six points, Tyler Christman has made up four of them. And a quick timeout by Yuma as they find themselves down quickly 6-1 to one as the Sterling Tigers want to finish this out as they take the first two, as they take the first two sets. And uh, the cheer squad for the Tigers down here, the cheerleaders in full force getting the uh, student body for the Tigers have been standing up the whole match. Nice job there. I want to point that out as they've been supporting a lot of football players over here, uh, supporting the girls uh, team tonight, getting uh, ready for tomorrow because the Sterling Tigers will be back tomorrow. Sterling Tigers here live on KSTC and on TV and on Colorado Preps TV as they take on Harrison High School from Colorado Springs right here in Sterling. And then on Saturday, a doubleheader softball game as the Sterling Lady softball team is going to take on Lions as the uh, serve comes in after the timeout. Going to be popped up. Masters going to put it across. Dug up by Meckelberg. Set. Goes far side. Swing. Nice block again by Tyler. Dug up this time by Yuma. Far side. This time over the block. Back row. Sheldon going to get it to the front. Masters down the line and out. Alex Masters with another kill. Tigers up 7-1. to one. Sterling playing a much better match here or a much better set here as uh, Shayla Klein was tying her shoe, trying to get uh, that done. Now she's going to go back to the service line. 7-1 Tigers on top. Set, going to go to the near side this time. On the slide, nice job by the Tigers to pick it up. And then Tyler tried to back set and lifted it. And I think she may have jammed a finger. That one hurt a little bit. 7-2 now, Yuma to serve. Floater, picked up by Masters. Kinsey going to set near side, Masters back to the back line, popped up by Yuma, now going to free ball it across, deep, and Sheldon going to be called for the lift. And she could have let that one go deep and out, but she didn't. Comes deep, dug up. Nice job by Bowlers. Nice pass. Masters down the line. 
and give her the kill. Alex Masters is, has, do it, uh, has done a great job on the outside tonight for the Tigers. That'll sing, send Megan Smock back to serve. Megan been all over the court tonight. She's been a great performer for the Tigers. And she gets it across, free ball across. Megan going to pop the pass to the front line and tipped across by Sheldon. Back Megan, pass to Sheldon, comes near side. Masters back row popped up by Meckleberg. Goes to the far side, then free ball across. Smock set. Sheldon near side. Chrisman tipped across and down off the block. Tyler Chrisman has been an animal here in the third set. Out of nine points, I think she's accounted for five of the nine. Smock to serve, jump serve. Floater, not enough. As she tried to get it to just crawl the net and gets the service there. 9-3. Tigers still lead by six. As serving for Cali Corey for Yuma. Chrisman with a big swing and give her the kill. Tyler has accounted for six of the ten. 60% of the points here in the third set. Tyler Chrisman has accounted for. Now she's back to serve. The senior big swing down the middle. Nice dig by Yuma, goes far side. Big swing off the block, Masters pops it up. Reagan back to the middle. Masters pops one over. Off the block, nice dig, far side. Smock back to the middle. Masters gonna put one back down. Dug by Yuma, now across tip. One hand by Smock, tried to get it, did Sheldon and could not get there. Smock tried hard and so did Sheldon. Tiger still up 10-5. As coming to the service line will be Logan Hickson, the freshman for the Yuma Indian. Back row popped up, going to be a free ball across. No, Bowler's going to have a back row swing, and she gets the kill. Nice job by Alexis Bowlers, the 5-2 junior. Yeah, you heard me, 5-2. Got the back row kill. She's a little bit of a pixie, but she's a great defensive player, and right there, a great kill. Come to the near side, deep, but played by the Tigers. Tyler Chrisman could have let that one go, but she played it. And give the kill to Tara Trappigan, or I'm sorry, no, that wasn't Tara. That was uh, Marina Hansen. Yeah, you can't read it either. It's in very small print, and it's down by freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Not by numbers, you just got to kind of guess. Ball goes to the far side. Powell going to get it across. Dug up by Chrisman. Now Megan Smock from the back row. Dug up by Meckelberg. Pass comes near side. Big swing. And out by Hansen. No touch. And the Tigers will take a 12-6 lead. That'll move Jamie Sheldon into the service position. or She's going to come out. Coming in for... The first time tonight, I think, is Megan Zimmerman as she's going to come in and serve for the Tigers. Zimmerman floats one down the far side, popped up, and two ball across. Comes to the near side. Tyler goes for the corner, and or Kinsey goes for the corner and did not get it. Kinsey did not square herself up. As after one serve, Zimmerman going to come back out. Sheldon going to check back in on the back row for defense. That'll send Carly Corey to the service line for Yuma. Nice play by the Tigers. Kinsey with a big swing. I haven't said it for two sets. Got to say it. Boom. Goes the dynamite right there. It had to come out eventually. That'll put Kinsey back to the service line, and then she has a service there. One of my pet peeves. A kill followed by a service there. Tigers up 13 to 8 here in set number three. Won the first two sets here in the home opener of the 2012 season. Pass going to come to the near side and a whip, a swing and a miss. And the student body letting her know about it. Unfortunately, Molly Harriff, the junior, went up for the kill and got a foul tip, barely. I mean, barely. Almost a swing and a miss. 
Ball comes near side, big swing down to the back side by Yuma. Almost a pancake dig by Kinsey, but she couldn't get there. And a nice swing and down by the Yuma Indians. 14-9 Tigers on top. Back line popped up. Going to come to the near side. This time Tyler with a big swing. I'm not sure whether that was dynamite. Might have been nitroglycerin, but it still made a big boom. And Tyler has uh, eight of the 15 points here in this set, either on stuff blocks or kills. That's a pretty big percentage. Set comes near side. Masters to the far corner. Give her another kill. Alex Masters with a big night tonight for the Tigers. Great to see a big crowd out here for the Sterling Lady Tigers opening night. Megan Smock with a nice serve. Come near side, big swing. Megan tries to dig it from the back line. Puts an arm out, but it goes out of bounds. Tigers still up 16-10. Need nine points to put this match away. Carly Corey to serve, goes back line, dug up by Bowlers. Comes near side, overpass, tipped across. Picked up by Sheldon and tipped back across. Nice job by Megan Smock once again. Megan Smock, I mean, had Tyler's played a great third set, but Megan Smock has been all over tonight. Definitely putting her uh, vote in for reliable performer of the contest. Big serve by Tyler, and then the attempt on the Return by Yuma, two deep and out, and a timeout called by the Yuma Indians as they trail 18 to 10 here in set number three. Now look at the scoreboard is brought to you by Nelson Financial. You got a plan for the game because uh, you want to plan for your retirement. Visit with Joel at Nelson Financial at 206 Main Street in Sterling. It's better to plan and then not need it than to need it and not have the plan because when you get to retirement, it'd be nice to have some uh, few bucks there to just uh, go have some fun. Don't want to work all your life. <laughs> Cole says, I'm already planning for retirement. So go talk to Joel and get your retirement plans figured out at Nelson Financial. Also, look for the scoreboard brought to you by Pete's Farmers Co-op. One-stop shop for pet foods, tires, and oil and oil service. 24-hour fuel whenever you travel through. See Pete's Farmers Cooperative in Pete's. 1810 Tigers on top. Now look at the scoreboard brought to you by Associate Affleck Representatives Bob Mullinder and Del McCormick. Hurt or sick? Don't just sit there and take it. Call 522-2309. <laughs> that white duck up on the scoreboard as Yuma going to take advantage of the timeout, come out and get the point, and break the Tiger momentum, 18-11. Tigers up by seven here in set number three. Tyler Christman with a nice pass. Smock, set, Kinsey airmails one to the back of the gym. Got to snap that off there, Kinsey. That was about 20 feet too long. It was close, just a bit outside. Service there by Yuma, and the Tigers maintain their seven-point lead, 19-12, checking in on the front row for Alexis Bowler. Jamie Sheldon checking in. Pass down the middle, Doug. Going to go to the far side. Now back to the middle. Popped up by Shayla Klein. Comes across. Nice job by Tyler to get it back to the front. Shayla Klein with a nice pop down. Set to the back. Last time, the Tigers played that well as Tyler gets to it. And a free ball across by Sterling. Set back to the far side. Big swing and off to Kinsey Chrisman block and down. A nice kill on the far side. Got to check this sheet again and see if I can find... Number 15, there she is, Caitlin Murphy, the junior. 19-13. Caitlin Block to serve for Yuma. Near side, popped up by Sheldon, set. Comes near side from Bowlers back to Sheldon, into the net. Oh, that was Reagan Wheeler, sorry, into the net. And ain't able to play the set as it was too close to the net. 19-14, Tigers by five. Here in set number three. Block serve deep. Played by bowlers. Set. Back set. 
and into the referee stand as Alex Masters got the set over her head, but just too deep. Kalen Block serves down the middle, popped up by Bowlers. Back to Tyler Christman from the back row. Big swing and a nice dig by the Yuma Indian. Swing from the back row, popped up. Alex Masters comes near side. Reagan Wheeler tries to put the swing on it and hits it into the net. Megan Smock going to come in and check in for Bowlers. So they'll go back to their 6 3. Tyler to the front, Megan going to set, near side, big swing, off the net by Wheeler, dug up by the Indians, comes near side, nice job by Alex Masters to pop that up. Smock gets it across, Yuma going to go far side again, big swing, up and off was Powell, and off the block and out, Regan Wheeler. Wheeler with her first kill of the night, puts the Tigers at the first one to 20, 20 to 16, Checking in to serve on the back line. Jamie Sheldon going to come out as Megan Zimmerman, the senior, going to check in to serve. Zimmerman served down the far side, picked up by Meckelberg. Pass back to the middle, off the block, popped up by Masters, set, comes near side. Zimmerman free ball across by the Tigers. Back to the middle, big swing by Trappigan, the freshman. Popped up by the Tigers and the free ball across by Masters and a carry so give Masters the kill and Tigers first one to blackjack winner winner chicken dinner right there 21 16 oh we got to play to 25 Cole says all right serve comes across dug by Yuma free ball across comes back to the Tigers big swing and Kinsey gets a kill on the middle nice swing by Kinsey 22-16, Tigers three points away from putting this match away and sending us home early tonight. Zimmerman served, back line, popped up by Powell, back to Powell on the far side. Nice job by Zimmerman on the pass, comes near side, bad pass. Did she get it? Was she in? Yes, she was. Reagan Wheeler going to get the, nope, they're going to say she was into the antenna. 22-17, checking back in Jamie Sheldon. Didn't see the, uh, now, now they're going to let her go in. Wanted to make sure they got it on the scorecard. Zimmerman comes out. That'll send uh, Carly Corey back to serve for Yuma. Near side, big swing by Smock, and she gets the kill. Not used to getting many of those, but she did there. And I tell you what, Megan Smock definitely... I think going to be our reliable player of the contest. Kenzie Chrisman going to serve from the back line. Yuma answers. Big swing by Powell. Nope, that was uh, Corey. And Corey got it in between the block and got the back line. 23-18. Tigers need two to close this out. Marina Hansen, the junior, to serve for Yuma. Hansen jump serve, back line, popped up by Sheldon, set, come near side, Tyler Christman. Kaboom. We're at set point and match point for the Sterling Lady Tigers. Trying to end this in a three set sweep. Twenty-four, eighteen. set point, match point. Dug up by Meckelberg. Set, comes back across, popped up. Set back to the front. Kinsey, free ball across for the Tigers. Misses the back line by about a foot. Yuma staves off one set point, one match point. Checking in to serve for the Yuma Indians is number nine, senior Tristan Baki. Bauke. I can say it, it's Bauke. Nice serve down the middle, popped up by Sheldon. Set, comes near side for the match, for the game. No, nice dig by Meckelberg. Free ball back across and in. Kinsey Chrisman let it go and it caught the sideline. The Sterling faithful didn't agree, but they're a long ways away. Side, 
side judge is right there. The line judge right on it. 24-20, Tigers trying to close it out. Block tipped across, and that's it. Tyler Christman. It's only fitting that she gets the final point as she kind of owns set number three. And the Sterling Tigers will take the match as they win 25-20 in set number three. We'll be back to wrap things up right after this. You're listening to Sterling Tiger Volleyball on 1230 KSTC. Also on Chassa.tv and ColoradoPreps.tv. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Kellogg Ewing Levitt Insurance Group is your first and only stop for all of your insurance needs, including health, home, auto, farm and ranch. Kellogg Ewing Levitt can also provide you with professional and general liability bonds. Kellogg Ewing Levitt, going the extra mile for their clients, and they can do the same thing for you. Call Kellogg Ewing Levitt today to receive a no obligation quote on your insurance needs. 522-4840. That's 522-4840. Kellogg Ewing Levitt with offices located at 119 North 3rd Street here in Sterling. Whether you need an operating loan, real estate mortgage, equipment loan, or need capital for expansion, Premier Farm Credit has the loan products to meet your agricultural financing needs. Loan decisions are made locally by experienced professional lenders who understand agriculture. We invite you to compare your loan to a Premier Farm Credit loan. We're confident that you'll find our products, price, and value to be the best in the marketplace. Call me, Ryan Rasmussen, at 522-2330 for all your ag financing needs. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. <laughs> your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. And welcome back to uh, Wally Post Gymnasium as we're still getting bugs worked out in our uh, system here is, you know, want to make sure everything works well. The Sterling Lady Tigers home opener successful tonight as they went in a three-set sweep 
over the Yuma Indians, 25-21, 27-25, and 25-21. At times, Lady Tigers looked impressive. At other times, looked like it was the first match of the season. But uh, you want to get the kinks worked out, and what better way to do that on your home court with a win to start things off. And I want to uh, uh, talk a little bit about who we think uh, tonight uh, in our post game is brought to you by Nelson Financial. Want to plan for retirement? Visit with Joel at Nelson Financial, 206 Main Street in Sterling. Better to plan and not need it than to need it and not have a plan. Uh, That's a good thing. I like that. And uh, so uh, post game, want to talk about our shining performance of the contest and our reliable player of the game. Reliable player of the game brought to you by Reliable Plumbing. Give George a call, 522-5592, when you got plumbing or heating problems. He's called Reliable for a reason. He's been reliable for us, naming more than 2,000 athletes as the Reliable Player of the Game since 2005. Thank you, George, for being reliable. And don't forget to call 970-522-5592 when you need reliable service for plumbing and heating problems. Our Reliable Player of the Game, uh, kind of a hard one, but uh, not really as Megan Smock did a great job for the Tigers tonight all over the court. Uh, She was called on uh, to uh, do that, and Megan Smock, our reliable player of the game, the first one of 2012 in the fall season. And uh, we also want to talk about our shining performer of the contest, brought to you by Dr. Robert Patton. Been making the smiles of the area athletes shine for more than 30 years and proud to do just that. Your smile will shine and bring... At tonight's shining performer of the contest with Dr. Robert Patton, a proud supporter of the area athletes and their smiles, our shining uh, performance uh, really shined in set number three as Tyler Chrisman came out and dominated set number three, had over 50% of the points most of the set. And she started off with three stuff blocks, added a bunch of kills and an ace, and just had a great third set and played well overall all night, a shining performer. Tyler Christman as the Sterling Lady Tigers come out in their home opener and win in three sets as I said 25-21 27-25 and 25-21 we have uh, the coach coming up here I'm not sure whether she's giving me information or whether she's uh, she's asking for a favor live on the air what's going on coach doing good Oh, yes, we are. Okay. Oh, she's she's coming up to ask us something that I'll talk to her about here in a second. I thought maybe she had something to add to our post-game, post-game here as uh, she had uh, uh, the 6-3 working tonight a little bit. And uh, I got to see that new offense for me to look at for the Sterling Lady Tigers. And uh, interesting to see that work. Um, and as I said... Uh, Looked like they had been playing together for a long time at times, and then at other times looked like it was the first match of the season. But you expect that the first match of the season. So got through it, and the Tigers with a three-set sweep to take the first one here at home. We're going to wrap things up tonight. Thank you for listening out there. I want to thank our sponsors. And we'll be back on the air tomorrow night as a 7 o'clock kickoff for the Sterling Tiger football team as they take on Harrison High out of Colorado Springs. Here in Sterling tomorrow night, we will be back on the air. And then on Saturday, a doubleheader softball game as we're going to get these sports programs started out right here for Sterling as three in a row here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great night. I'm going to kick it back. Thanks, Mike, for keeping us on the straight and narrow back there at the studio. You have a great night, folks. You've been listening to Tiger Volleyball on 1230 KSTC. All clear. Thank you. Yep. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Bye.